Hello Mormon family, it's Sione Prenzi, and I'm here with another Kamochi video for you. And today's focus is our friend Kat. And for many of us, we know that Kat can sometimes be a little bit, do you know what feeling this is? If you know what it is, tell us. It is cranky. Can we spell cranky? C-R-A-N-K-Y. Why? And sometimes Kat gets cranky when Kat doesn't get her way. So we're just going to read Kat's story real quick and see how much we remember. So listen in. Kat loves to be in charge, but she can sometimes be a little too, you guys know it, bossy. Now and then, her bossiness can lead to confrontation or a cat fight. That's why she comes with bandages, just like you see up here. That helps her to heal the hurt feelings with other people. Kat's favorite number is 10. Can you show me 10 with your fingers? Good job. And her favorite color is purple. So today, Kat is going to teach us about how to get someone's attention because now the cat is home with all of her Kamochi friends. And when she wants to get someone's attention, she tends to kind of yell out their name. So she'll be like, Cloud, I want to play. And Cloud does not like to be yelled at. And so we're going to teach Kat Kamochi Keys number one and also how to speak nicely. And so Cloud is feeling a little upset. The cat has just been screaming his name. So when a friend or a brother or a sister or a parent or a child yells to a parent, mom or son, come over here. We want to remember to tell people to speak nicely. So let's see if Cloud can do that. It's feeling a little happier now. Speak nicely, cat. <gasps> okay, I'm sorry. Miss Prenti, can you teach us key one? Of course I can teach you key one. Key one are the communication tools that we learn in the Komochi program. And key one is how to get someone's attention. Are you ready to show them how to get someone's attention? Okay, here we go. When you want to get someone's attention, you say their name, Cloud. Oh, hey, Kat. Hey, how are you? Do you want to play? Uh-huh. But sometimes when we call someone's name, they may not hear us. So let's see what that looks like. Cloud. Oh, looks like Cloud can't hear. Let's go over. Oh, Kat gave a communication tap. Oh, and here comes Cloud. Hi, Kat. How are you? Oh, I called your name. I didn't hear you. That's okay. Do you want to play? Do you want to toss Cranky down? All right. Woo. <gasps> Woo. Good job. So we don't want to be cranky at home. A lot of us are stuck at home, sheltered in place. We're not in school, and that can make us a little bit sad. But we want to make sure we're not cranky. So when we have a concern or we want to ask a brother or sister to play or we want to ask our abuela grandmother to maybe cook us something to eat. We don't want to scream that person's name. We want to just say their name kindly and make some eye contact. So when we need to get attention of a mom or a dad or a grandparent, abuela, or um, a friend that we're having a Zoom play date with, we want to say their name, wait for eye contact, and then start a conversation. So this week, make sure we're not screaming anyone's name in our house. Let's just go face to face Say the person's name, wait for eye contact, and start to speak. And if the person doesn't hear you, no problem. Give them a gentle, what is a cat? A gentle communication tap. Okay, bye more than families. Stay tuned for more Kamochi videos.